hello traders uh, this is euro jpy uh, let's go to monthly if we go to monthly we can see that uh, the nearest monthly double top is here and which is far away and there is no double top in the month and the lowest double top we double bottom we had was here so we cannot assess any range uh, in monthly time frame and also uh, in some cases we could have been declared it as a monthly double top if we had something here but uh, still we have 20 days to go in december so we cannot consider this in monthly time frame let's move to weekly in weekly if we check again on the left hand side we can see that we have a confirmed double top and how it is detected let me show you very clearly in weekly guys can you see that uh, we have a green and red here and this green we indicates that it is a lonely candle uh, and uh, opposite in color in a downtrend and this is a probable very powerful candlestick which has stopped the price to move upward so let's uh, let's follow follow through this and see if we get something here let's put it in properly so that we don't miss get misled it in any way oh no it's not correct okay so let's move on let's see where it ends uh, does it make a double top in the weekly as uh, can you move and move Sorry guys, I'm a little bit slow, so bear with me. Uh, so we can see things. So yes, we can have a double top here. You guys can see that this green and red falls within this uh, uh, this area. So let's pick up the change the color of week here, and now we have to cover the whole thing. So this is our weekly double top here has formed uh, the week before the last week. So let's uh, remove this. Uh, let's leave it for the moment. So now we have a range from here, uh, from here uh, to we can clearly indicate here. This is the range of the week. So if we now measure the range of the week, let us get rid of this. You can see that we have a double bottom here in week. And the half is lying here somewhere. Right guys? This is the half of the total range we have currently. Now, <clears throat> last week we have seen a very big bearish candle with a uh, very big shadow almost very big shadow on the very side of this and now we need to know why it happened and we can see this this green and red and this is red we need a green to declare it as a double bottom in weekly and we didn't see anything like that here so let us check uh, if we can find uh, wh what was the reason price is stopped here so let's go to daily and in daily if we go here in last week we have i have said very clearly i have not shown anything on the top side because there was no trade on the top side i have clearly mentioned the price will uh, come down to this level but actually the price went down very low and you guys can see that uh, i mentioned that if this line was broken it will go down according to the depth of this cup uh, at least from this this place so this is uh, what happened uh, it reached almost 75 percent of the cup depth uh, this is this was the depth of the cup so that was one thing so let's invalidate all these things which are not required anymore at the moment and uh, i was uh, uh, thinking the price will stop here uh, once it get bearish but the price broke this level and went down to this level and now i wanted to see what want to see what if the price broken out all these uh, supports then what has stated here so there is one possible 
explanation in daytime but here we don't get any shadow do you guys see here we don't get any shadow it is the body of the candle here so then I go to four hours and four hours we don't have anything even can you guys see okay can you guys see uh, do we have anything no uh, it has to be here so and after searching four hours let's go to two hours and in two hours there is a candle I have found which is responsible to stop this and this this the single this this small dodgy has stopped the price to slide downside and uh, this created the double bottom uh, to be very honest with you and this is the thing which has stunned me and I always say it any opposite color candle in any trend uh, is a very powerful candle which can stop the whole trend for a day or and turn it back uh, uh, on the other way around and it happened here so if we measure this exactly we can see that this was the candle which stopped the price to slide further on the downside uh, in the last session uh, this is what happened on on two uh, i think it is on thursday what i what we have seen on thursday oh no, sorry on thursday yes and you see this this was the single candle which stopped the price from sliding downside uh, of the whole thing so this made a double bottom here and <coughs> let us move to a higher time frame we found what oh, what, what happened which caused this double bottom so this is one of the thing which is very important on our part to detect what happened and why it is responsible why things happened like this why it didn't stop earlier so now if we uh, see things on a day time frame we have a range of uh, this this guy you can see and this guy so uh, what i am expecting in uh, euro jpy is that that the price will come to this level at least again uh, and it is almost there if you guys can see and once it reaches here only then we can say well, what is going to happen next before that i don't think uh, i can say anything at the moment because they, if the price fails this barrier this 50 percent barriers or a, a little bit higher uh, taking out all the liquidity from here uh, let me put a zone here and the zone should cover this this is the zone i am expecting the price to react and uh, so my my uh, forecast is it will move here retest retest and it will come down here and then maybe maybe it will reach this time it will retest this area and it will reach here and that is the forecast for euro jpy i don't see say, any upside traction at the moment for euro jpy however uh, i i do like to mention that uh, the fundamentals related to uh, japanese yen is too much uh, fragile at the moment as they are bank of japan government that is stating a lot of thing each every each and every single day and it is making the market volatile and uh, in every pair of uh, uh, related to jpy that means euro jpy gbp jpy and usd jpy has a volatility of 600 pips uh, even if we see this how many pips it moved in a single day you guys can see it has moved 556 pips so Lot, lot of volatility is going on here so this is the best guess i ha have at the moment on upside uh, uh, i don't see any upside moment however uh, if if things uh, do changes then i would expect the price to move here and then move uh, on the one it will go here test this neck again of this bucket uh, of this cup and then it will break and come here these are the two option i have but this option is bleak uh, what i meant by bleak is uh, not that much strong so i put it in dashed line and this option is uh, very high weighted in my opinion 
in your guys take care uh, please do subscribe share and press the bell icon i need you guys to share something and please do comment so i understand that you guys are understanding uh, i uh, i am successfully able to communicate you guys thank you very much